Hi, this is Matthew Mead, and this is a quick video to show how the new D4100 strobe siren can be integrated into Axis Camera Station. Let's take a look at this strobe siren interface. So the strobe siren can have multiple profiles configured. These profiles contain the configuration for the light and the configuration for the siren. In this example, you can see that I'm using the red and blue light and it will be activated for 20 minutes. And here I've configured the siren just to be active for two seconds because it's quite loud. It's actually 110 decibels when you use class four PoE. Let's take a look how we can integrate the strobe siren into Axis Camera Station. We do this using action rules. The first integration I'm going to show is how we can integrate it with a door forced alarm. So we select a device event for the trigger. We find our door controller and we find the door forced event. At the bottom, if you trigger the alarm, you will see the activation on the activity timeline. Next, we configure the action. So here we select siren and light, and then we select the profile we want to activate. I'm also going to record a camera. So I select a camera that will record the door area and I select the recording criteria. Next, I add an alarm message, and this is so the operator can access the recording in a simple manner. We can add a schedule to define when this is active, and then finally, we name the rule. The integration is so simple. The next integration I will demonstrate is how to control the strobe siren manually. So we will create an action button, and this will be a toggle button. We name the toggle states. So turn the light on, turn the light off. We add it to our map, but we could also add it to a camera directly, or even a page with just action buttons controlling different elements. We select our profile, and this time we're selecting profile one, which was the white light profile. Again, we can add the schedule, and finally, we name the rule. So when we return to the map, the first thing we need to do is reposition the action button. So here I'm moving it towards the main gate. And here you can see that I can control the light, turning it on and off. If we look at the alarm condition that we created, when I create a door forced, that the siren is activated, and also we get the alarm message at the bottom of the screen. And the operator can click on this and be taken very easily to the recorded footage. Hopefully this video has demonstrated how easy it is to integrate the Axis D4100 strobe siren into Axis Camera Station. Thank you for watching.